Hi, I'm Carrie, and welcome to Coffee with Carrie as I continue to read my book, Your Body Song, 18 Minutes to Health Happiness, and of course, Longevity. Remember last week, we discussed the simply remarkable fact that genes aren't set in stone. And with that, I want to share some stories with you that are really going to highlight this. And by the way, if you're following along in the book, we're on page 41. The three T's of health. Dr. Lipton says there are only three things that impact our health. I call them the three T's. Trauma, toxins and thoughts. Trauma is when you break a bone, have an accident, have something traumatic happen to you. Toxins consists of pollutions, poisons and so on. Thoughts I want to provide you with proof that thoughts, beliefs and perceptions are not only the most common of the three, but also that they are able to powerfully override both trauma and toxins. As Dr. Lissa Rankin of the Whole Health Medicine Institute asks in her TED Talk, what if the least important part of your health is focusing on your body? Toxins, how beliefs overpower radiation, hazards and poisons. The babushkas of Chernobyl. In 2011, a reporter, Holly Morris, was sent to Chernobyl to do a 25-year follow-up story on the Chernobyl nuclear explosion. As she got closer, her Geiger counter beeped ominously and she became anxious to leave. However, in the distance... Inside the evacuated zone, she saw a plume of smoke coming from a chimney and her curiosity got the better of her. What she documented in an award-winning film called The Babushkas of Chernobyl was nothing short of amazing. After Chernobyl exploded, everyone living within a 37 kilometer zone was evacuated and relocated to the outskirts of Kiev. However, about 200 people, mainly women, walked back the 70 miles to what they referred to as their motherland and dug under the fences to move back into their homes. They told the guards they were not leaving, that the guards would have to shoot them as the women didn't believe that radiation could harm them. 25 years later, those babushkas, grandmothers, at the time in their late 70s and 80s, against all odds, had outlived their relocated relatives by up to 10 years. They'd also outlived the general life expectancy of Ukrainians, which in 2015 was 71.19 years. And yet, Chernobyl had dumped more than 400 times the amount of nuclear material than Hiroshima had. For 25 years, these women had been breathing that very same air, drinking the water, eating produce grown in that toxic soil, as well as fish caught in poisoned waters and meat from animals raised in a toxic environment. Yet so powerfully had they signaled to their body song that radiation was unable to harm them. Here they stood, still hale and hearty. When officials entered the babushkas' homes to check radiation levels, their instruments often still registered high levels of radiation. Instead of worrying, the babushkas laughed about it. Isn't that a powerful story? All the things we know about how dangerous radioactive waste is? Here they've been exposed to it for 25 years. And yet in this movie, they state powerfully that they don't believe that radiation can harm them as long as they are in the motherland. And you know, they didn't only return once. They returned a couple of times and the guards would fetch them and take them back to the outskirts of Kiev. And they would walk back again until eventually they just insisted on staying. It's a remarkable story when you think about the power of feeding your cells a story that they believe 
and having them respond in kind. Now, until our next reading, when I'm going to be giving you some more evidence of how we can change our biology in dramatic ways. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll hear when the next Coffee for Carrie is about to be released. Thanks for joining me.